Today is a, a very tragic day for the UN family, and uh, you'll allow me to say a few words in relation to the tragedy that just occurred with our peacekeepers in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And I want to express my outrage and utter heartbreak at last night's attack on the United Nations peacekeepers in the DRC. Early indications from the site of the attack in North Kivu indicate that at least 12 Tanzanian peacekeepers were killed and at least 40 injured, four of them critically. And we also understand that at least five members of the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo were killed. I offer my deepest condolences to the families and loved ones of the victims and to the government and people of Tanzania. And I wish a speedy recovery to all those injured. I condemn this attack unequivocally. And these deliberate attacks against UN peacekeepers are unacceptable and constitute a war crime. I call on the DRC authorities to investigate this incident and swiftly bring the perpetrators to justice. There must be no impunity for such assaults here or anywhere else. Military reinforcements have arrived on the scene. The force commander is there as well, coordinating the mission's response, and the medical evacuation of casualties is ongoing. This is the worst attack on UN peacekeepers in the organization's recent history. It is another indication of the enormous sacrifices made by troop contributing countries in the service of global peace. These brave women and men are putting their lives on the line every day across the world to serve peace and to protect civilians. The situation in the DRC is one of the emergencies we are highlighting in today's appeal for the Central Emergency Response Fund. This latest attack highlights the urgency of helping people in need and addressing the volatile situation.